You know, we like to pretend in this country that all people are equal, that we all enjoy the same constitutional rights. Well, that's just not true. Some people in this country are denied basic constitutional rights simply because of where they live. Take California, for example. If you live in California, your Second Amendment rights are severely restricted simply because you live in that state. That state government has chosen to restrict your constitutional rights. They believe they as a state have a right to override the federal constitution, which if you ask me, is completely wrong, but so far they've been able to get away with it because of money and influence. Because of this, people that live in California often don't have access to guns that most of us consider commonplace. In fact, many of these guns are guns we consider to be the best of the best as far as concealed carry guns are concerned. The people in California simply don't have access to them because they're not on a very strict list of approved firearms made by that state government. Because of this, I've been asked many times to make a list of top carry guns for people who live in communist states like California. So today I thought I'd take a few moments and do just that. So let's go ahead and get started here, and I want to do a list of the top five concealed carry handguns for people who live in a communist state like California. At number five is the Ruger LCR. Now you can get the LCR in multiple different configurations, nine millimeter, 38 special, 357 Magnum. Now I myself am partial to the 327 Magnum because it gives you six shots, but however you go on this gun, you aren't gonna lose, it's a great gun. Revolvers are already great carry guns no matter where you live, but if you live in a state where your capacity is restricted anyway, a revolver even makes more sense. So the Ruger LCR is the number five gun on my top five list of concealed carry guns for California. Number four on the list is the Springfield Armory XD Compact in whatever caliber you choose to get it in. It's available in 9mm, 357 SIG, 40, or 45. Now I do believe Springfield Armory calls this a service size model, but to me a four inch barrel is a compact no matter what you call it. All of the calibers of this gun are approved for California as long as you use the proper magazine. People are always asking me, where are the XD series guns on your list of best carry guns? Well, usually they just don't make the cut. There's so many other better polymer carry guns out there that the XD series falls short of making the list. But in California, where some of the better guns aren't available, the XD falls at position number four on my best California approved concealed carry guns. Now the gun at number three isn't gonna surprise anyone. It makes a lot of my list and that is the Beretta 92 series. Be it a 92 FS, an M9A1, whichever one you choose, be it nine millimeter or 40 if you wanna to go to the 96. The Beretta 92 slash 96 is a great carry gun anywhere you live and it's California approved. Now, a lot of people think this gun is too big to carry, but it just isn't. The 92 actually carries very easily, carries very comfortably, has a wide array of holsters available for it, and it's one of the best shooting guns on the market. It's one of the most natural shooting guns on the market for most people. So this gun is an awesome choice no matter where you live. So I really don't need to say much more about it. I think you understand why this gun falls at the number three position on my best California approved concealed carry guns. Now the guns that come in at number two is kind of a series of guns, and it's the 686 and 586 series of revolvers from Smith & Wesson. Depending on which model you choose, you can have anywhere between a two and a half inch barrel up to a four inch barrel. All of these sizes are great for concealed carry. And if you choose the plus models of either gun, you can have seven rounds instead of six rounds of a 357 Magnum, a very powerful and capable round. And since the 686s are KL frames, they're a little bit easier to control than J frames and they give you more rounds. So they are one of the best carry guns. In my opinion, they fall at number two for the best carry guns that are approved in California. Now the gun that falls at the number one position of the best approved carry guns for California isn't gonna surprise anyone either. It's the Glock Compact Series. Be it the 19, the 23, or my favorite, the 32, they're all approved in California as long as they're no newer than a Gen 3. And the Glock Compact Series guns are great guns no matter where you live, and that doesn't change simply because you're in California. They're still a great gun for concealed carry right there on the West Coast. No matter which caliber you choose, just make sure you get the proper magazines to make it California legal. It's a great gun, like I said, everywhere. So it definitely deserves the number one position of best concealed carry guns approved for California. So there you have my list. Now, one thing a lot of people are gonna say is where are things like the PPQ and the SIG P320? Shouldn't those be above the Glock 19 in your opinion? Well, yeah, they're better guns, but they're not approved for California. 
And since they're not approved for California, other guns like the XD series get to be on the list and Glock gets to be higher on the list. Now, another thing you're going to notice is capacity did not play a big part in this list. You're going to say, well, there's revolvers on the list. Yes, but I have revolvers on pretty much all of my top five lists. Revolvers are great guns no matter where you are. Capacity is not one of my primary concerns and revolvers are just plain old great carry guns. Now, since some of my favorite polymer guns aren't approved in California, it did allow revolvers to move a little bit further up the list and maybe allow another model of revolver to move on the list, but that's only because certain guns aren't approved in California. Now, some people might say, well, what about states like New York, etc., where we have magazine capacity limits? Well, you don't really have a roster of approved guns as far as I know. So if you have access to pretty much all the guns, the only thing that matters is your magazine limits. Well, then your lists don't change. The same guns that are great with 15 rounds in them are still great guns with 10 rounds in them. So you all really don't have to adjust that much. If you know a great gun, buy that gun, just get the proper magazine. For people who live in California, you have to worry about capacity and if it's on the list. So there's my list of top five concealed carry guns approved in California.